Hi, David Yout here. This episode of Explained in 64 Seconds will feature the VIC-20 version of Sword of Fargo. Let's begin. Sword of Fargo is a permadeath dungeon crawler game. To win, escape the dungeon in fewer than 2,000 seconds after having retrieved the Sword of Fargo. Dungeons are randomly generated every time the player moves to a different floor. The game displays a player's stats and inventory during the 20 to 40 second wait time. Here are objects in the dungeons. Stairs lead to adjacent dungeon levels, but pits can span many levels. Temples hide players from monsters and doubles healing rates. Gold is offered at temples for experience points. Players start with a teleport spell and a healing potion. To get more items, you have to risk triggering traps. Lower dungeon levels contain more difficult foes. Assassins can be revealed by a light spell. Dimension spiders can teleport up close to the player. Mages will steal the player's magic and demons will drain an experience level. Player stats are simple. Fighting is governed by battle skill and maximum hit points. At certain thresholds of experience, a player's experience level increases, which in turn increases battle skill and maximum hits. The game uses both joystick and keyboard controls. Fights play out automatically. Players can walk away from fights that they initiated. This has been Explained in 64 Seconds. Thanks for watching. Thank you.